which and will be please tomorrow. always remember to watch to the end of our video all animals are dangerous beings our unicorns are animals and some unicorns are dangerous beings fallacious sleeper said existential fallacy part of the quantification fallacies and it is a formal fallacy to explain the previous example every unicorn definitely has a horn on its forehead it does not imply that there are any unicorns at all in this world thus it cannot be assumed that if the statement were true somewhere there is a unicorn in the world with a horn on its forehead the statement it assumed true implies only that if there were any unicorns, each would definitely have a horn on its forehead. Example number one. I am her mother that is very serious about skincare and it is currently in the morning. Morning, Mom! Hi! How is your babysitter job going? I'm very careless of my skin and busy with my babysitter jobs. Great! Hey, why do you have pimples on, on your face? Mom, babysitters have pimples. Huh? All babysitter club members are babysitters, therefore some babysitters club members have pimples. To explain the example. The fallacy is committed because we have two universal premises and a particular conclusion. Just because a conclusion must be true does not mean the logic to use to produce it was valid. Technically, in the example above, all babysitter club members have pimples, not just one or some. Example number two. We're currently in the forêt, also known as forest, but in French. Where do marmotets <coughs> live? Marmosets. Are they forest creatures? Yeah. All forest creatures live in the wood. Therefore, all marmosets are forest creatures. Okay. Therefore, some marmosets live in the wood. Huh? To explain the example. The fallacy is committed because we have two universal premises and a particular conclusion. There are six rules a standard form categorical syllogism must meet in order to be valid. If it fails to meet any one of these rules, it is invalid. Each rule has an accompanying fallacy that alerts us to the specific way in which a categorical syllogism can be invalid. Rule number six dictates that two universal premises cannot have a particular conclusion. Like I said. To conclude, an existential assumption or existential fallacy occurs whenever a conclusion of a syllogism requires that a class has at least one member, but one or more of the premises do not. The existential fallacy or existential instation. Instantiation. Instantiation or existential existentiation is a formal fallacy. In the existential fallacy, one presupposes that a class has members when one is not supposed to do so, when one should not assume existential import. Not to be confused with affirming the con consequence, which states A plus of B, B, Therefore, A. Logical form. All X are Y. All Z are X. A. Therefore, some Z are Y. Some. Thank you for watching today. today's video about, about existential fallacy. Remember to subscribe to Relationsly and also
also turn on the bell on our channel.